Yo, what is up, YouTube? It is your boy Ash, and we are back with another daily upload. Today's video is going to cover money methods in Forza Horizon 4, so make sure you stick around. This video is going to be an absolute banger. I had a couple of people ask me on stream and in the comment section of the new videos that we've been doing how to make the most amount of money in Forza Horizon 4 with the options that you have available. So this video is for you. If you are new to my YouTube channel, it would mean the world to me if you could hit that big fat subscribe button. Over 60% of people that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed to my channel. So make sure if you are sitting there, please feel free to hit the sub button. It would mean the world to me. Hit the notification bell so you receive all notifications from when my videos go live smash that like button drop a comment in the comment section for me i network and engage with each and every single comment that is in the section but hey let's talk from me let's get right into forza horizon 4 so the first quick method that we're gonna go over but not dive into too deep is the auction house the auction house is one of the quickest and easiest ways to make money in this game with the festival playlist coming back around you have the option to get yourself some rare cars that sell for a quite a lot of money you have cars like the lfa the gt86 as you see on the screen which are currently selling anywhere from like three to five million which is very 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 cheap when these cars do not become available It'll shoot up in price upwards of 15 to 20 million per car if you would like to see a video on auction house of sniping cars or auction house money methods let me know in the comment section and i will get one done for you but i don't want this video to be extremely long because we are going to cover two more money methods in this game but the auction house in my opinion is how i make the most of my money i have currently have around uh, 92 million credits in this game just from buying and selling cars knowing when the price are dipping and knowing when the price of the cars are going back up just shift them on but let's head out of the festival site and head over to the first race that we're going to do, which is going to earn you some crazy bank and some good influence. So the first race that we're going to cover is called the Colossus Race. Now, if you haven't unlocked this just yet, what you want to do is make sure that you're doing the road racing series events and continuing to grind out the races. And eventually, once you hit the high enough level, you will eventually unlock this race along Start with up the event, go solo. Head on over to custom events and head on over to all-time greats now depending on what car you would like to choose for this credit boost and event influence boost cars are probably some of the best that you can use the race that we are going to do is called the mammoth marathon it is a 40 mile sprint race head on into the event and this is where you can pick your cars so normally what i would go for is anything from um the alfa romeos you have the credit boost alfa romeo the two credit boosts you have the event influence boost uh, quadrilla foglio. You also have the speed skill boost Lamborghini. But the one that I'm going to use today is the Alfa Romeo 8C from 2007. It is the credit boost version of this car. Pick this car. And what you want to do is head into the race. Make sure... If you are new to the game, depending on what difficulty you drive, having some driving assist off will boost that credit more. And let me show you exactly what I mean by this. So right now, I have a boost of 65% from having my driver tar difficulties just a little bit turned off or just above average with the driver tars. So my traction control is off, my stability control is off, my shifting is manual, my driving line is off, and my driver car difficulty is above average. It's not too kind of crazy to the fact that you have to fight for the spots it's just on that lever of i can beat these driver tars so you're going to want to accept that and this is just a 40 mile sprint race from start to finish so what i'll probably do guys is i will catch up with you just before the end of the video to see how much credits we have unlocked how much influence that we have got it's going to be very, very, very cool for you guys to see um, how much kind of credits we lock out. Depending on how good of a driver you are, this will maybe take you 10 to 12 minutes to get done. And depending on what car you choose as well. But like I said, I'll see you guys at the end of the video to see how much we have unlocked. So we are coming towards the end of the race right here, which took me, I'd say, roughly 14 minutes to get this car around this track. Now, let's have a look at what kind of money we are looking at for completing that race for 15 minutes of my time. If we duplicate that for an hour, see how much you can earn roughly in about an hour's time of just doing this race consistently over and over. And most importantly, let's see if we've got any influence from it as well. So click the A button. I am the winner, of course. I got 110 
thousand credits for doing that for 15 minutes of my time and almost 50,000 influence which is absolutely insane for 15 minutes of my time now if you were to duplicate that by 15 minutes each time that will take it over to 440,000 credits every hour that you do the colossus race not to mention, you do also have the influence reward too, which will go towards wheel spins and the possibility of unlocking big cash unlocks or cars that you can just quick sell straight away. But I've got myself a Willy's Jeep right there. I'm going to sell it for 20,000 credits. Let's go double check as well, see if we've got any kind of um, normal wheel spins just for completing that race. So we do have three wheel spins right here. Let's hope that we can get something good. If we don't, I'm really, really happy with the amount of influence. And if we don't, I'm really, really happy with the influence and cash that I got from doing that race. We've got a nice little 5k right there. Let's skip that again. We got ourselves a Bronco, which I'm going to quick sell for 19,000 credits. And we got ourselves a CRX Honda, which I'm going to quick sell for 10,000. Now, let's head on over to the next money method on this awesome little list. And the next one we're going to head on over to is the Elmson on Sea Sprint. The Goliath is also there as well, but just genuinely doing the Goliath anyway will get you a ton of money in this game. But head on over to Elmson on Sea Sprint. And what you want to do is the same thing again. Enter event solo. Head over to custom events and go to all time greats. Now, there are many, many different ones you can do right here. You've got the five lap one. You've got the one lap one. You've got the three lap one as well well which is also great but we are going to head on over and do the five lap road racing series event with the checkpoint glitches now if you don't know what the checkpoint glitch is it's a route where the ai cars have to follow and you don't you can just head down towards the checkpoints and earn the silly amount of cash that this run offers you so head into this event the credit boost car that you would like and then i will see you guys at the end of the video when we've completed the five laps to see how much cash we have earned from the five lap of this checkpoint so glitch. this checkpoint race or checkpoint glitch has taken me just over 15 minutes to complete by the time i do get to the final checkpoint it's probably going to be around 17 minutes but what we will do is duplicate what we earn four times to see what you can earn in about an hour of doing this little checkpoint glitch race it wouldn't be an ash video if i didn't hit a tree right there but anyway we're coming towards the end of the race let's finish this car straight through it's a bit of a chaos right here and there we are we are finished the race of five laps it took me 17 17 minutes to say the least but let's continue let's see how much cash we earn 159,000 cash and around 69,000 influence, which is absolutely bonkers. It is nuts for five laps. So if you were to do this exact race, you would earn yourself around 636,000 cash for just doing what I did there for 17 minutes of your time. And like I mentioned, you do get the odd wheel spins every now and then for the race that you have completed but guys i really hope you've enjoyed this little video let me know in the comment section if it's helped you out let me know what you think about the video and i'll see you guys on tomorrow's video which will be an absolute banger take care peace and love